burnt toast, though. We don't want <laughs> yeah, burnt toast. Too crispy. Burnt toast. You aren't kidding. Hey, one of the hottest years we had on record here in <laughs> Central Texas was 2011. So that's kind of the benchmark for heat. Uh, we went back and looked at the data yesterday, and to start off May in 2011, we were talking about an average high of around 81.4. Now, if we're talking about this year, just based on the first seven days of May alone, look at where the numbers stack up. We were talking about average of 87. So already we're running hotter than we were in 2011. Now that didn't end up being the hottest May on record. We'll show you that a little bit later on in the newscast. to will show you where we stock up, stack up rather closer to there. As far as today's concerned, another warm one on the way. It's not going to be record breaking by any means, but it is going to be toasty. There's a view out there right now. Clark Reef and Cam and Colleen. Temperatures in the upper 70s right now. 78 in Waco, 77 in Temple, and 77 currently in Colleen. Those dew points, they're in the 70s. So when you have dew points in the 70s, when you see this dark green on the map, that means it is muggy. You step out the door, you're going to feel that. And as we go into the afternoon, that's going to combine with the heat to make it feel even hotter, make things even worse. 87 by noon, feeling like 96, 94 and feeling like 102 later on this afternoon. Be nice if we get some heat relief for some showers, but clouds and radar gives you a clean sweep this morning. We do have some low cloud cover. That's about it. The only place we're going to see showers in the Lone Star State or thunderstorms for that matter is going to be along a dry line out to our west. The problem is that dry line it's going to stay well to our west with this deep humidity that's in place. That means showers, thunderstorms, they're going to stay out over west Texas. Look at them blow up this afternoon from Midland down towards Del Rio. They'll try to march east but fall apart before they reach central Texas. And we'll do it all again tomorrow as well. Showers, thunderstorms staying well east. Even some trying to come in from the east as well. High pressure just blocks them. It acts as a shield from rain. That backs off though as we go into the weekend. That may allow a few disturbances to come in from the north. And that may allow for some isolated showers and thunderstorms coming up Saturday and Sunday. I'll keep only a 20% chance in. Don't hold your breath. Mo most of us miss out. High pressure builds back in for the second part of the week next week. And uh, yeah, that means heat comes back as well. So we stay around the mid-90s today. 94, lower 90s coming up Wednesday and Thursday. Then we're back in the mid-90s for the weekend. Look at next week. 97, 98, 97. Yeah, feels like it's June already. Ooh, that's warm. And when we come back, depression, anxiety, we know these can be hard topics to talk about. But we're trying to make it a little easier. Bane Froney coming up here with an.